Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Habibis. What's going on? I'm on time tonight. I'm on time for the last stream. Welcome. Welcome to all you Habibis. It's Habibi week. That's right. 69th episode of Habibi Power Hour this Wednesday, 10 p.m. East, 7 p.m. Pacific. Only on our YouTube. Uh, you go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Um, uh, let's see what else we got going on. Oh, also, RIP in peace to Rebecca Jones. Uh, she may not have been a blue check, but she was a big account um, who was very much into spreading disinformation, spamming, manipulating uh, Twitter uh, for her own benefit, and she got the axe. Now, <laughs> there, I, I am going to be consistent here which is something that very few people uh, on Twitter are. And I'm going to say, I don't think she should have been banned, but the list has always been about saving people from themselves. Um, and let's be honest, Rebecca Jones has not been very good um, at showing she has any redeemable, redeemable qualities or characteristics. So I will say this, um, she is um, beyond saving. We did put her on the list last week. She ended up getting her phone taken by getting suspended by Twitter. She tried to come back on Twitter uh, later on in the day and then got banned within like a minute. So you hate to see it. But at the same time, you love to see it. Anyways, the BBs. Um, how y'all doing tonight? Thanks so much for joining the stream. Um, I am uh, back in DC. Jay is in town. I'm going to be seeing him tomorrow night. Uh, we're actually going to have a meeting of the families. And by meeting of the families, I mean um, my parents are going to meet his mom. And uh, they're going to uh, tell us afterwards whether they approve of our marriage or not. Um, because obviously my wife left me. So, inshallah, during Pride Month, maybe, you know, make dua for that our marriage is a, a halal one. And that uh, Jay and I, um, you know, we have too many kids. Most too many kids. Oh, we got a hype train. Let's go. So, uh, new merch, as you can tell. Ordered it, the, this through Bonfire. Um, I tried checking the website today, and it's like the whole site went down. So... Turns out uh, it is the most Islamophobic website I've ever been on. But once it gets back up and running, then hopefully you'll be able to order some merch. I don't actually know. I, I have it as my pinned tweet that you could go check out. Um, but every time it says you can't buy any merch or it says your, th your, your browser is not up to date, which is bullshit. So... Oh my God, you guys gifted me so many subs right now. I appreciate it. Um, wow. Damon, thank you so much for gifting five tier one subs. Bartholomew, the tree guy, thank you for gifting two tier one subs. Moto Built, thank you for the sub on Prime. Using your Prime sub on me, I really appreciate that. Hepa Prime, thank you so much for subbing at tier one, for subbing four months. Um... <laughs> Fuzzy says, oh, hi, Suraj. Hope you had a nice day waking up at 1 p.m. and sucking fat ones all afternoon. You goddamn lit. <laughs> no. All right. Okay, are we back? Fuck. Now I gotta, like, merge these two streams together. God damn it. Um, uh, I don't, I, 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 I really don't know what else to say. Is my computer way too hot? This is the best Siraj stream ever. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's go, let's go check out, uh, some, some tweets. All right. Habibis, uh, welcome back to the stream where, uh, apparently my connection likes to drop off every moment of every hour of every day. And uh, none the wiser, thank you so much for subbing with Prime for eight months straight. I have to buy my computer a fan. 
Is that really what's going on here? Here, let's refresh the chat. I'm already at level four of the hype train. How the fuck is this even going on? Um, <sighs> Decato, thank you so much for subbing tier one for three months. All right, here's what we're going to do. I am going to stop streaming music to go with this shit. And I am going to reduce my footprint here by, let's see here. Oh man, are we literally at level four? Wow, we passed level four hype train. The, the chat's not updating on the stream. Try, try uh, Island of Rose, try just refreshing your chat or refreshing the actual, um, uh, the, the, the page. I'm sorry, guys. Um, what is a Siraj stream, uh, without complete, with all the technical difficulties, right? This is just so on brand. <laughs> yes, Khalid. Uh, also shout out to Khalid. Uh, he created an awesome video. I'm going to show you if with his permission, I'd like to show you maybe, maybe I'll wait, maybe I'll wait on that, uh, until 69th episode of Habibi power hour tonight. Um, Demetria says, Siraj, drop the skincare routine. You look glowing tonight. Um, I washed my face and then I started using, because I have so many bug bites on my legs from Florida. Um, over the last few months, uh, I started using Nivea soft on my face for a little, for a little bit, but then I started using it on my, uh, arms and legs. And I think that's the reason why I haven't been getting any bug bites on my face and neck It's because I've been putting it on there. So I put it on the rest of my body and I don't think I'm really getting any bug bites now. So. I'm sharing blood with Ronald DeSantis. Um, man, we're at level five hype train, 66%. You guys are too nice, too, too kind. Um, let me pull up the fuzzy tweet, the fuzzy idea that he had. Let me just show you guys right now. This is the, the merch we got going on. Okay. I'm very excited about this. This was actually, uh, this idea came to us through, um, through Bike Practicer, one of the demigod Habibis, he sent this design idea to me. And so I basically, I, I repackaged it and put it in, um, uh, in the format of the Helvetica new font and almost exactly like the Beatles member shirt. So we did a black version of it and we did a white version as well as a gray version. Um, so that is on for, for our Patreon Habibis for Habibi bros. Um, I'll open it up to the rest of the, of the public after Habibi week, but they get first dibs. Um, then we have a Habibi bros logo. Now our previous one was a little bit more, um, busy and I got some samples of it, uh, a month or two ago. And it frayed way too much. So I decided that in order to avoid fraying, we'd have to go with a more minimalist design. So we went with this. And I'm actually really happy with it so far. Um, and then finally, we have the shirt that I'm currently wearing. This is actually a navy blue. Um, you can't really tell on the screen, but it fits really well. This is actually a very, like, you know, it's pretty solid print. Um, I'm not worried about it fraying as much, um, because of how it's printed. Um, and we have a bunch of different colors for that as well. So, uh, for Habibi week, we just rolled this out last night. Um, very excited about it. Um, so far, 
I'm hoping that we will not have any issues um, with Bonfire. Of course, <laughs> anything is possible. I don't know as far as... Oh my God, half a prime. Nice shirt. Take it off so we can see it better, Lib. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Mike uh, Mike says, an honest... Forster Mike says, in honor of Pride Month, you ha need to have Ryan Gordowski on again. I heard he was the gayest guy on Twitter. <laughs> um, I don't even know if Ryan is gay. I, I don't know. what I, I have never asked him. And out of respect, I never really intend on asking him until he introduces me to his husband. Hey, we got to level four hype train. Hey, Abibi Abdul. Abdul's here? Where's Abdul? Where you at? Ram, thanks so much for joining us, Habibi. Um, let's see here. What else we got? Thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, that was Khalid. Appreciate that. Um... Siraj, would you like Fuzzy to pay your internet bill? Just ask. Thank you so much. Um, how is the internet doing right now? Why can't I see Fuzzy's reply? Where is it? Fuzzy, how did you reply? Did, did you reply? Did you reply to Habibi Rose? An anonymous gifter. Thank you so much for anonymously gifting. Uh, five tier one subs. I wish you had come out uh, during Pride Month and uh, show us who you are so that um, I can thank you. Hey, Daniel Collins. Thank you so much for gifting five tier one subs. Appreciate you. Oh, it's actually, it actually is an anonymous gifter. No, I have no idea. Um... All right, where is Fuzzy? You're gonna have to just send me the fucking tweet. I can't even find it. <sighs> God damn it, Fuzzy. Let's just look up his fucking Twitter, I guess. And and then there we go. Hi right, BP with <laughs> the Bo Siraj Boomer uh, emote. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, all right, give it a give it a minute. <laughs> Ernie got a bath today. He's gonna join us on the stream, hopefully later. Um, He's all dry, thankfully. There we go. Oh, he was replying to ass licking. This is this is great. Look at this design. I demand this be considered for the next merch rollout front. If you look, it's Jay eating some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and, oh my God, it froze again too. <laughs> um, how are we doing? Is it back? Oh no. How, how bad is it? All right, if you can see this, this is on the back of the shirt. It's Jay and me. And I say, wow, with your power of eating ass at super speed, you'll tunnel us out in no time. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> oh, my God. Robin, Ron, thank you so much for the 200 bits. You know, let's go get Ernie right now. Uh, if you give me just a moment, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll bring him back. Give me one second.
Here he is. Say hi, buddy. The king. The king is back. What a buddy. He smells so good, too. His bath went well. Right, Ern? <laughs> so Roger Hashmi Twitch channel where DSL is keeping us from succeeding has more than meaning. <laughs> Here, let's move this down. Uh, there we go. Little buddy. Let's move this back. Oh. Boom. There you go, Ern. There you go. Is the stream having more issues? We're on the Daisy Dukes cam. <laughs> All right, get them salt licks, buddy. There you go. Thank you, bud. Okay, so let's see if we can adjust the, um, I gotta, why is it all off like this? Ugh. Okay, so let's go ahead and vote on the uh, May list awards first before we get into the uh, list stream for uh, or the list for the past week now real quick uh, Ben is currently um, He is currently on a fishing trip um, With his Bubba so hashtag fire Ben all day every day um, and uh, But uh, we have put together the May list awards last week and then um, something mysterious happened and uh I can do the list stream uh, for one reason or another. I don't know exactly why. Um, Blake says, what kind of internet is this? Is this a rock? Yes. Um, <laughs> Josh, that's a funny way to say Ben is in rehab. <laughs> Major Blue Devil, thank you for subbing for five months, Habibi. Yes, yeah, some reason, Habibi. Some reason, which Bubba will never, will never know. Um, <laughs> that pick of Ben with a fish is a deep fake. I believe it. I believe it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with voting for the cringiest tweet of May. And we have two, two choices. We got Angelica Belcamino for this tweet. Um, I wonder if it's still up. Please tell me it's still up. Unlike everything else in my body. If you know what I mean. And it obviously is even more applicable for this tweet where my penis has basically been inverted. Uh, it says, Angelica Belcamino tweets, don't fuck Republicans, who agrees? That's quite cringe. Uh, and then the other tweet that's cringiest of the month is The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. What is there? What? All right. And you have basically, what's your alias for the former POTUS? Hashtag he, shall, he, who, shall, who, he who shall be named. This is from May 10th. Um, they really don't have any material. There's plenty of material, but they prefer to only focus on Trump for some reason. What is it, Ernie? Come on. Just enjoy. You're in the spotlight. Just soak it all in. Okay. 
Um, so he has Sir Eats a Lot, Mayor McTreason, Covefool. Covefool? First of all, how the fuck is Stephen Colbert a comedian? Um, I truly hate everything about uh, this tweet, but we got to vote on it. Um, I'm going to go with a two minute poll. Now, here's the thing since we got 80 people here, there's going to be no channel points, it's just going to be raw vote. Cringiest. We got Angelica Bel Camino. The Late Show. So we got Angelica with a forehead so big you could land a plane on it, and The Late Show with a comedian who tells no jokes. Who tells everything but jokes, I should say. Two minutes. Poll begins right now. Go ahead. And obviously, what do I know about landing a plane exa exactly? Thank you, Atomic. You're quicker than I was in pointing that out. Uh So big you could crash a plane into it. <laughs> My God. What is Aaron? Thank you, bud. Appreciate it. Oh, the late show has 68% of the vote. It could use 69% of the vote. It's a great question, Luke, man. I have no idea who watches Colbert's show. Have you heard about Steven Crowder's suit with YouTube? No, I definitely not. have not heard it. Hey, we're at 69%. Stop the count. Don't you dare vote. Hey, 69% of the vote. Let's go. Drop some 69s in the chat, Habibis. You did it. Very first, very first poll, we got 69% of the vote. Um, let's go. Let's go. All right. The Late Show, get the fuck out of here. The cringiest tweet of the month. Um, ben writing the a Late Show, but it's clearly the Late Show. He's fired. The Late Show has it. Give it a green, green one. All right, and then we have a quick toss up between Adil Raja and Vina Malik for worst tweet of the month. Um, we'll start off with worst tweet and then we'll go to MVP. Uh, where is my worst tweet of the month? Here's Uno. Thank you, Rob. I think my mom had a good birthday. Decatoast says, please don't block me, but neither of those tweets were that cringy. Some, some are more, if you have any other candidates, send it, but it's been decided. Okay, let's go through the worst tweets of the month.
think of it made number one or it was in the top three deserves it um i think brent bozell got number one so let's include him in the conversation so we have four candidates we have vina Malik who tweets out, I would have killed all the Jews of the world, but I kept some of them to show the world why I killed them. Adolf Hitler, at no point do you want to be quoting Adolf Hitler. And then Adil Raja, who is a uh, CNN uh, contributor, wrote, the world today needs a Hitler. I believe he got number one. And then you have Marjorie Taylor Greene, who also got number one during, uh, I think, the last week wrote vaccinated employees get a vaccination logo just like the nazis forced jewish people to wear a gold star vaccine passports and mask mandates create discrimination against unvaxxed people who trust their immune systems to a virus that is 99 percent survivable and then you have brent bozell who uh, for some reason or another decides to condone um whatever the fuck this is um what Bouchard did was wrong, but what Bouchard and the baby's mother did in choosing not to abort, especially given the circumstances, will earn them both a special smile from the Almighty. He's the kind of man I want to, to see in Congress. So I think of these four, I think MTGs is the weakest, and I think we should vote on these three. Ernie, can I bring you upstairs, bud? You know people want to watch you, right? There you go. Just have a sit. Um, so, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna vote on these three. Um, if you get, if one of the tweets gets over fifty percent, we are going to have. Uh, th there's no. There. There will not be a runoff. But if we have a plurality, but not a majority, we will have a runoff between the top two. Adil Raja. Or Brent Bozell. All right, two minutes on the clock, no channel points involved at all. Poll begins right now. Go ahead and get those votes in. Let's go ahead and have, have a little sip. How you doing, there, Ernie? You good? Looks like a deal. Raja is, is is killing it right now. Let's go pull that up. Yeah, I should have made this one minute. Does he still have a Twitter? I haven't checked. his tails is the funniest thing you want to get down okay all right all right all right what do you want to do huh what do you want to do go do it oh. all right deal roger gets it with 78 percent of the vote oh god ernie's humping stuff we will not show that because this is a family program who are we kidding Congratulations, Adil Raja, for getting the worst tweet of the month of May. Uh, 
Okay. This is what we're gonna do next. MV no, sorry, hold on. That's that's worst tweet. So now we're gonna do between for MVP. You know, I'm going to throw a curveball into this. I think we should add POTUS into the discussion for worst tweet of the month. Uh, I'm sorry, for MVP of the month. But Ooh. Michelle Kaczynski, that's pretty bad. This deserves MVP consideration. And she blocked me. Yep, still blocked. <laughs> All right, let's go to Michelle Kaczynski. You can see exactly what she uh, was. She tweeted. Um, Michelle Kaczynski, who was a CNN journalist, tweeted, as an American journalist, you never expect your own government to lie to you repeatedly your own government to hide information the public has a right to know, your own government to spy on your communications. Trump's un-American regime did all of these. No one should accept this. Let's go ahead to, I could probably go to the list if you give me a moment. While people look at that. I'm gonna go find this real quick. It really was a good month for bad tweets. Okay, we're gonna find it. Chucky Peas three or Chuck Chucky Peas? Yeah, thank you for subbing. For two months on a one month streak. I don't know what that means, but I appreciate it. With a one month streak. What is a one month streak? That makes no sense. Um, it, interestingly enough, uh, once we get into the list for this past week, you'll see that we actually have quite a few candidates given the fact that it was a shortened week because we had Memorial Day weekend and uh, we considered tweets coming in, um, I think on Tuesday for that list. But just give me one moment while I find this uh, actual list. I don't know how much I tweeted over the last week. There are a lot of people who tweeted some dumb shit about D-Day, which was the anniversary over the weekend, June 6th. And um, it was uh, kind of funny how people just um, <sighs> continue to make the point that um, that was the original Antifa. I fucking hate everyone who makes that comparison. It's just, just terrible. Um, okay. Sorry, I tweet a lot, and I don't know why I do that. A relaxing party. Welcome to the stream, Habibi. We are here, and we are queer for Pride Month, right, Habibis? No. <laughs> we are uh, going through the list of people who need their phones taken away. And here it is. This was from, do I have the tweet I'm looking for? Is it SV Date? No. No, it was Michelle Kaczynski. Let's just keep going through it. Ah, here we go. Oh, and Tom Lakis, I forgot about him. This is what Michelle Kaczynski tweeted. You can see it right... Here we go. There's the tweet. Um...
Oh, happy belated birthday, Just Jen. You're 39 plus tax. Um, Michelle Kaczynski tweets exactly what I, sh I said earlier. And, uh, man. That's bad. But is it worse than this? Colorado Springs voted for Trump. Enjoy. Hashtag thoughts and prayers. Hashtag womp womp. And that was in response to some people are dead after a shooting at a birthday party where friends, family, and children gathered to celebrate early Sunday morning. So, all right. So I'm going to consider several people. We're going to do Tom Lakis. We're going to include... Let me make sure here. We got. I don't think Michelle Kaczynski should be on there. Adil Raja already got worst tweet of the month, so let's go to Avina Malik. And then we have. No, I probably can't do it. Um, POTUS. We have Ann Coulter. That's a bad one, too. Brent Bozell, Ann Coulter. Uh, Ann Coulter's tweet is about the Tulsa Race Massacre, which is just... I don't know how the fuck you pull that off. Um, but she called it... A, isn't that what you guys call a peaceful protest? Man, uh... <laughs> really awful time to make that point and so this is what we're going to do we're going to do top two we do jungle it's like a jungle primary I should say um I think we should include SV Date into, into the discussion as well I think his tweets about um, January 6th are still really, really bad and considered, um, they are just incredibly bad for, um, I mean, this is a guy who's a reporter who should have, like, who should know better, but he doesn't. He says, he writes, Trump apology court in full apology mode. The 9-11 terrorists and Osama bin Laden never threatened the heart of, an, of the American experiment. The 1-6 terrorists and Donald Trump absolutely did, did exactly that. Trump continues that effort today. And then shout out to Damon who comes through here with this retort. Says United 93 was intended to crash into the Capitol. You think January 6th was worse than that? And SV Date tweets a thousand percent worse. So shout out to Damon. Um, Eli says, can we add Rebecca Jones for posterity? Uh, first of all, Eli, thank you so much for the bits. Secondly, no, we cannot add her because the list actually worked, and that's how we ended up getting it. Ended up getting her uh, tossed out off of Twitter. All right, MVP, two minutes on the clock, no extra votes. So this is going to be a um, a bar brawl, basically. So go ahead and get those votes in. Let's see what let's see what the engagement is on that tweet, Damon. Oh, look at that thousand thousand likes. Um, let's see what the, okay, not really a ratio. I would say SV Date was closer to a ratio than you are. <sighs> so there you go. <laughs> and he's currently crushing it right now. All right, let me go ahead and show you the Bozell tweet. Uh, this is Tom Lakis. Uh, Tom Lakis basically celebrating the death of seven people because Colorado Springs voted for Trump. Um, Ivina Malik tweets, I would have killed all the Jews of the world, but I kept some of them 
some to show the world why I killed them, quoting Adolf Hitler. And then Brent Bozell tweeting, what Bouchard did was wrong, but what Bouchard and the baby's mother did in choosing not to abort, especially given the circumstances, will earn them both a special smile from the Almighty. He's the kind of man I want to see in Congress. So, yeah. Some very, very bad tweets. But it looks like Esvidate is going to take it. I actually don't know if Hitler actually said that. Congratulations to SV Date for getting MVP for the month for this bullshit uh, tweet and exchange with Damon Toll. Congratulations, you dumb bitch. Now that we have the list awards out of the way, we can do the tweets from last week so this is what we're gonna do we are going to go through uh, this is the projected top 10 again thank you to Spencer Sachs and Ben Morrissey hashtag fire Ben um, fire them into oblivion and sex sex um, Thank you for your hard work, your due diligence, and making sure that uh, these people got listed and added to the uh, list uh, running log. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from 10 to 1 and then vote from 1 to 10. Okay? So this is when I turn channel points and bits on for voting. So let's go to number 10. We got Nico Lull. <laughs> this is great considering how this entire this person's entire per, uh, Nico Lull's entire persona was being a Bernie bro and trying to tax the rich and she literally has a tweet that says two million dollar apartment tour my new apartment like subscribe leave a comment so the grift is basically complete for her so there you go number 10 um, Eli asked the New York Times didn't make the list please send me the tweet I, I probably just missed it and uh, Ben probably missed it too which is why he needs to be fired and Spencer probably missed it which means he needs to be sacked but that's essentially 100% what happened CNN coming in at number 9 <laughs> um, See, oh, the Fauci emails. You know, I completely forgot this happened in the last week uh, just because uh, I've been so busy this weekend. Um, CNN tweets, thousands of emails from and to Dr. Fauci reveal the weight that came with his role as a rare source of frank honesty within the Trump administration's COVID-19 task force. Quite a diplomatic and gentle way of putting it, don't you think? Coming in at number eight, we got Vox. Vox tweeting. Oh, this is a delicious one. Um, Vox tweeting. Violent anti-Semitism spiked in America during the Israel-Hamas war, and we don't know why. Don't know how you fucked that up. Coming in at number seven, we have the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire. We have actually several offenses from them, I think. Maybe not, maybe only one. All right, maybe one. Libertarian Party of New Hampshire tweets, all Republicans want to do about wokeness is wine. Libertarians have solutions, repeal the Civil Rights Act, Eliminate disparate impact regulations. End affirmative action. Cease federal and state school funding. 
It's like libertarians just don't have any... Everything about libertarianism in theory versus in practice, they just, just do such a great job at that. D. Collins, Daniel, thank you so much for the sub. Using your Prime Gaming sub. Appreciate you, DB. Um, coming in at number six, we got Ron Fournier. Fournier? He blocked me, so we're going to have to go to my tweet about it. Let's let's give that a moment while I look that up. Um, but it goes history rhymes, and he then uses the quote. He uses then one six. Most people, when they include one slash six, they think they're going to be starting a thread. No, he meant one six as in like January sixth. So. Let's see. Damon, T Damon 2 says, um, 2L says, black people don't deserve to get their names pronounced correctly. Thank you so much, Dem. Demon. All right, we're getting close here. Here we go. Um, Ron Fournier responding to Twitter historian Kevin Cruz tweet. Kevin Cruz tweets: "Those who liberated the Nazi extermination camps firmly believed that the horrors that happened there needed to be witnessed widely, so they would never happen again." And Ron Fournier, or Fournier, or Fournier, or Fornicator, Ron Fornicator tweets out history rhymes one six. Oh my God, Ben! Hey, I'm here. What's up, Habibis? Where we, where are we at in the process? We are in the process of firing your ass, Ben. Get the f pack your shit and get out of here. Okay, we're done with you. I've had enough had enough also Ben thank you for your help uh, we are just doing the main list we just we just did the list awards now we are doing the list for the past week all right so that's number six coming in at number five we got President Biden Make sure, ah, we have two offenses from Biden. Let me get number one and two. Uh, first tweet, President Biden. Um, that President Biden writes, exercise your freedom to live without fear, get vaccinated. Not the worst tweet in the world, but all right, let's, let's hold off on that. This is what really does it. President Biden tweets, in my first four months in office, more than 2 million jobs have been created. That's more than double the rate of my predecessor and more than eight times the rate of President Reagan. And I point out here, reopening the country isn't job creation because it's not job creation. The government literally is just reopening the country. They're easing their restrictions from COVID. That's not job creation. Mind you, Biden can't even reference Trump. He only references Reagan. And guys, if you're gonna let, I mean, with all the, with all the lying that you saw happening in the past and people trying to make it look like, you know, Trump is the only president who lies, 
they're going to try to get away with as much as they possibly can. So whether it's a small or a big lie, you just can't let them get away with that shit. So, give me your fucking phone, Mr. President. Coming in at number four, which I think should be higher, um, but we'll discuss it. Ram Z. Paul. Ramsey Paul, in response to Ayanna Presley, Ayanna Presley writes, Black folks built this country for free. Reparations are a refund in the bare minimum. Ramsey Paul tweets, The farmers, pioneers, miners, ranchers, businessmen, doctors, lawyers, engineers, and engineers that built America were all white. Blacks picked cotton. In a battle to end slavery, 600,000 whites died. If anything, you owe reparations. What the fuck? Uh, Jesus. Uh, come the fuck on, Ramsey. What the shit? Video maker and speaker, YouTube channel, support my Patreon. God damn it. <sighs> Alright, so that's number four. AOC coming in at number three. Nope. This I thought was a pretty big self own. Do I think it's worse than, worse than Rand Z, Z. Paul? Well, we'll decide. I actually don't. But this is a, hey, look at me. Look how much I'm suffering. Um, AOC tweets, just over a week ago, my abuela, felt, oh, abuela obviously means grandmother. I went to Puerto Rico to see her my first time in the year because of COVID. This is her home. Hurricane Maria relief hasn't arrived. Trump blocked relief money for Puerto Rico. People are being forced to flee ancestral homes and developers are taking them. Uh, and I'd be asked, did you see the parody of Buella Twitter someone made? I did not. Okay, so this is the New York Times tweet Eli is talking about. Let's just pull it up here. Uh, Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia said he will not vote for the Democrats' far-reaching bill to combat voter suppression and restore ethical controls on the presidency shattered by Donald Trump. Um, I don't know if this reaches top 10 worthy, but we can, I'll keep it on the back burner right now. Uh, let's see here. Next up at number two, we got the New York Post. Abuelita Cortez, A Money Spot. A Money, what's happening? Habibi, haven't seen you in a minute on here. Um, oh my God. Wow. It's pretty good. A lot of people following it already. Um, all right, so New York Post tweets out on June 1st, Westchester man sentenced after fathering child with 12-year-old girl. girl. Uh, I, where is the statutory rape um, in this tweet? I'm not seeing it. That 
that's pretty bad. New York Post. And then at number one, we got this guy, Stance Grounded, S at SJ Peace. Let's go look at this fucker's tweet. Um, Stance. He has a number of offenses. At this point, I'm not even sure. I, I know this guy's a real person, but we've listed him before. He did block me. For some reason, he unblocked me. But this is what he tweeted. He's tweeting out the Nazi flag with the Israeli flag, saying they are the same. And then his in his other tweet. Oh, and the follow up. He says, "What is happening to Palestinians at the hands of Israel is directly from Hitler's playbook. The annexation of Palestine has been going on for seventy three years. Bombs have been falling on Palestine like acid rain. Don't tell me it's not the same. One Holocaust does not justify another." And unfortunately, there are more people who agree with him than not. Um, okay. So, that's what we have for the top 10. We have a number of different, a number of other people. Chris Cuomo, Malcolm Kanata, Rob Reiner, Jesse Klein. Um, but let's vote on number one. Since Ernie is nagging me to go upstairs, I am going to bring him up real quick. And then I will come back down. We'll do the list stream. Be right back. Okay, we're back, Habibis. Um, let's see here. So, what we're going to do is we are going to vote from 1 to 10. And then, um, if there's time, maybe we play some video games. I think I, I, I got my PS5 here. I got my capture card. If anybody's up for playing maybe some COD, um, maybe we could do that right after. Or... Um, 
I could work on a beat. Um, we could do some Cold Ops Cold War, maybe, if people are up for it. Um, so, obviously, Platinum Habibis get first dibs. So, if you are a Platinum Habibi and you got Cold Ops Cold War, hit me up. Um, and then, and of, of course, Demigod Habibis. Demigod Habibis and Platinum Habibis. So, Platinum Habibis up. Um, they get first first dibs. Um, but beyond that, we will, let's just go ahead and try to do this as quickly as possible. Um, I don't know if I have uh, everything up to date, but we can certainly try it out. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start a poll for number one. So if my internet starts fucking up, please tell me because I just started playing music in the background. And there's a good chance that um, it's going to slow everything down. So the first poll is going to be two minutes long. I'm going to allow channel points and bits uh, for extra votes. Um, so we're going to do whatever this guy. Let's just call him Stance Grounded for his fucking whatever the fuck this is. This They are the same. And we got the New York Post. For this uh, tweet that seems to be um, whitewashing stat statutory rape. Then we got AOC. And then we got Ramsey Paul. For this uh, pretty awful reparations tweet. And then we got Biden. POTUS, President Biden, um, for this tweet, for his job creations tweet, as well as his exercise your freedom to live without fear, get vaccinated. Um, let me, before we start, I'm just going to look through this list real quick, just to make sure that we've got all our bases covered. Okay. Um, Is it running slow as fuck already? All right, let me turn off the music. I think it's, I think, honestly, I think it's the music. The music makes it run slow as shit. So we're just going to turn off the music. And hopefully that will be what, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's, that's it. Um, all right, so we have this one, Elisa Cardinal. Well, I ran out of characters to say eyes or lack thereof. And she's obviously responding to Dan Crenshaw, who said, actually, it's just I singular. And to add more context, uh, Elisa Cardinal tweets, hey, Dan Crenshaw, I think you're supposed to take a seat. The GOP has been uh, been single hand, single mindedly chipping away at democracy for months. The reason you can't see the objective truth isn't because of your eyes. It's because of how far you have your nose up your dear leader's ass. Um so Eli Sines says what happened this Georgia Secretary of State he tweeted the wrong dates he had these really bad uh, he had tweets uh, in relation to Yom Kippur when Yom Kippur isn't for another four months and then he had another tweet about how um, like November 6 1944 is D-Day and was clearly June 6 1944 um, I'm not sure what to do about these tweets from Brianna Wu. It sounds like she's trying to make libertarians sound way more badass than they actually are. Of course, I'm not a libertarian, but some people may think I am. Um, I happen to just say that I'm, um, I don't even know what I am anymore. Um, but this tweet from Brianna Wu, she, she writes, The Star Wars prequels are a story about how libertarianism is evil. She has all these check bar, check mark boxes saying Trade Federation wants to cheat regulation to blockade Naboo and exploit it. Goal is to weaken Congress and the regulatory power. Trade Federation profit made by forcing planets to work with monopolies. And then she continues on by saying Trade Federation interferes with the political process until the government collapses. Instability allows an, a, an libertarian friendly dictator to rise to power. Privately funded militias are used to accelerate the destabilization. Yeah. 
Eli Stein asked why it's not in the top 10. Um, well, that's the projection. This is made by um, by Ben and Spencer. I don't make the projections. I just follow what they send me. So, um, Let's see what else we got. Ooh, this is good. Chris Kiyomo. Chris Kiyomo tweets out, for those invested in right-wing fringe attacks on Rebecca Jones, here's a well-researched piece on what is and is not true. Not sure what we want to do with Chris Kiyomo. Um, we could decide maybe at a later time. Maybe not number one worthy. 538 tweets out let's see if it's still there is it still there ah here we go does it matter if there was a lab leak absolutely fucking lutely it matters I'm almost tempted to put 538 in the conversation above AOC 538 taking AOC's place. So we got Stance Grounded, New York Post, 538, Ramsey Paul, and President Biden. I know, how are we going to do 10 this week? Jesse Klein, let's see what Jesse Klein tweets. Um, in National post i argue parks are a little more than vast swaths of land smack in the middle of large urban cent centers that could house hundreds of people but are instead being used as a toilet by half a dozen dogs they should be abolished or privatized <laughs> look at that ratio <laughs> who is this dude like this isn't number one this is definitely not number one worthy but it's just really funny in itself BP, thank you so much for gifting three tier one subs. Eli Stein, thank you for the 200 bits you already gave. Um, so I'm going to do, for number one, we're going to do Stance Grounded for his uh, Israel-Nazi comparison. New York Post for diminishing statutory rate. Let me let me pull it up again. Hold on. Hold on. Uh... Wow, Dan, thank you so much. Was that five tier one subs? Thank you so much, Habib. You really appreciate it. I'm going to take Brianna Wu off here. Um, Elisa Cardinal. I'm still trying to figure out. Maybe maybe we can include her in the conversation for number two. I don't think she, I don't think with that is number one. So we got Stance Grounded here. Um, we got New York Post for the statutory rape uh, tweet. Or to the lack thereof. No, AOC, get the fuck out of here. Ramsey Paul for his horrific reparations tweet. We got Biden for his jobs tweet. And then we got 538 for the lab leak tweet. Okay? We got two minutes on the clock. 69 channel points per extra vote. One bit per extra vote. Poll begins right now. Go ahead and get those votes in. Oh, fuck. This is what I forgot to do. I forgot to give you guys all the link to go check out the actual... Uh, the list yourselves. Give me one moment. What happened with the Biden tweet? Drobman, thank you so much for gifting the tier one sub. Gifting the total of five to the community. All right, now you guys can hop on in here and check out what we got for the list for this week. <sighs> okay. No, I'm not going to make... I'm going to let you edit. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that would be absolutely wild. It looks like Ramsey Paul is currently holding on right now with 75% of the vote. Remember, you can use channel points if you have them. Go ahead and get those votes in. Mm. 
Davis Great says all caps Twitter handles always a bad sign, right? It's always a bad sign. Oh my god, BP says dummy god should have edit permissions. <laughs> how do I control that? I don't know how to control that. Oh shit, stance grounded. Coming through. You know, I really wish the Kamala face cookie was uh, tweeted by her. That would be so great. I would love it. I would love every minute of it. BP. Oh my god. I don't know. Do you want to take over? Oh, here we go. So Ramsey Paul gets number one uh, with 71% of the vote. Almost nice. Um, or nice plus two. Eli Stein, thank you so much for the 63 bits. Philip Maz contributes 2,070 channel points. Yes, he does. Connor, what up? Uh, says, I am the captain now. <laughs> um, all right, so here we go. Um, Ram Z Paul. Congratulations. You bitch. All right. So here we go. So here we go. Let's go for number two. We're going to add uh, a little, what's her name? Elisa Cardinal this time. We're going to add her to the number two conversation. Elisa, Elisa Cardinal for her Dan Crenshaw tweet. And that's ableist. We got stance grounded. I really wish I knew what this fucker's name was. It's really annoying me that he just goes by that. We got the New York Post for the statutory rape tweet. We got 538 for the lab leak tweet. Saying who cares if there was a fucking lab leak? Does it matter? Of course it fucking matters. And then we got POTUS, President Biden for his job suite. So this is for number two, two minutes on the clock, channel points and bits allowed. Go ahead and submit. Go ahead and vote, get those votes. His name is Fake Prince. Um, yeah, right now he is in the lead. Let's go to that. Excuse me. So as I mentioned in the stream earlier when we were doing it, and um, then I got cut off, obviously, because my internet was bad. RIP in peace to uh, Rebecca Jones, who um, got suspended by Twitter today um, and then tried joining up later in the day and got suspended. And um, yeah, that was that was pretty bad. I don't know how... I don't know how he fucked that up, but um, some people just, they can't uh, evade a Twitter ban. Now, am I pro-censorship? Absolutely not. But does the list work? Yeah, it does. Got some cookies here. She's just part of that blue Anon crowd. Blue Anon. It looks like Stance Grounded is going to take it. And Jay asked me if I have the screenshots of. All right, Stance Ground that gets it with 70% of the vote. Eli Stein contributes 42 bits and Relaxing Party 1,380 channel points. Thank you to you both. Let's go ahead and put him right over here. All right, next up. Number three. 
you know, I don't know if, um, if uh, the 538 tweet was clickbait, but here we are, New York Post. Five thirty-eight. You got Biden. We got Elisa Cardinal. And then I'm going to throw Ron Fournier into this discussion. Ron Fournier, Ron Fornicator. We're gonna do one minute on the clock. Actually, no, we'll stick with, for the top three, I'll do two minutes across the board. Um, and then after the top three, we'll go into um, one minute polls. Poll begins right now. This is gonna be more of a free for all, it looks like. Oh, oh! New York Post really taking off. Holy shit! Let's get to that. This is a New York Post tweet. And Lisa Cardinal is making a run, trying to challenge. Is there a Discord? Of course there's a Discord, Habibi. Here, let me drop the link in right now, of course. Get in here. Check out that Nightbot. Hang out with us in Siraj's Discord. It's the Habibi Discord. It's me and Jay's Discord. Go ahead. Get in there. Let's go. Um... Bartholomew says, why does Call of Duty keep being over 100 gigabytes when it's always the same game? You know, that's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. What I might do, though, is I might, um, in the interest of not having people stay to watch the entire stream, I'm probably going to stop this stream after we do the list and then start an entirely new stream to make sure that all my shit is up and running. And uh, the New York Post gets it with... 63% of the vote. Eli Stein, thank you again. Contributing 152 bits. Josh contributes 1,104 channel points. Thank you to you both. Um, and let's go ahead and take them off of that. New York Post. Okay. Now. Next stop, we got number four. This is going to be a one-minute poll so that we can hurry up and we can play some games. And uh, Jay, I don't know what Jay's plans are. Um, someone might need to alert him that we're going to try to play some video games since I'm streaming at the moment. Um, I, I, I hope he brought his laptop. He should. I believe he did. I don't know if he has everything up to date, but we'll find out. Um, so this is going to be, uh, number four, we got, we got Biden. We got AOC. We'll add her on this. We got Ron Fournier. We got Elisa Cardinal. And then finally we have 538. That's not it. Oh, let's get that off. We 
What happened to 538? God damn it, did I forget? Oh, I must have exited out of it. 538. Alright, one minute on the clock. Poll begins right now. Go ahead and get those channel points in. Text Jay right now. Fake. Let me lol. Let me guess. Siraj is, Siraj is still rigging polls. That would be. I would have to actually be voting in a poll in order to be rigging it. All right. So we have a plurality, but not a majority. So we have a runoff between Biden and AOC. One minute on the clock, channel points and bits still active. Go ahead and get those votes in. Oh, God damn it. Here's AOC currently in the lead. Okay, Jay's down for uh, Kai Colbor. So, oh, Biden's taking the lead. President Biden just narrowly missed uh, 69%. Not nice at all. Um, getting 68% of the vote. Congratulations, Mr. President. You made number four. All right. Okay. Next up. We got number five. We got Elisa Cardinal. We got AOC. We got 538. We got Ron Fornicator. And then Oof. Either Libertarian Party or Vox. I'm going to go with Vox. Actually, you know what? For number five, I think we should... Actually, no. Let's include Vox. Why not? Fuck it. All right. Number five. One minute on the clock. Poll begins right now. Look at that. Just Jen says we're talking about unity for you, you and me. And Josh says community immunity, just PTSD. Is Twitch really being drunk right now? 
Vox is in the lead. And, oh, there's a plurality, but not a majority. So now we got a runoff. Vox versus AOC. One minute on the clock poll begins right now. That's happening. I'm just going to make sure I have any space here. Hmm. Make sure they're probably updated. I just like saying plurality, don't I? Who's winning right now? AOC is currently in the lead. Is she gonna finally get it? She finally gonna get it? I really hope there aren't that many updates that would really suck. <laughs> All right, AOC gets it with 72% of the vote, uh, which is technically not nice, but um, congratulations, AOC. All right. Uh, Connor Wetzel contributes 36 bits and Atomic Playgirl 138 channel points. Thank you to you both. Number six we got. Um, we got Elisa Cardinal. We got 538. We got... Ron Fornicator. We got Vox. And then we'll add the Libertarian Party in New Hampshire. Poll begins right now, one minute on the clock. Box is killing it right now. 90% of the vote. God damn. Global warming is fake. What link are you submitting here? Oh yeah, we have we have nominated. Thank you for sending that. I had listed that earlier. Look at that. Boom. Legalized child labor. Children will learn, will learn more on the job site than in public school. So Vox gets it with 88% of the vote at number six. Congratulations, Vox. Box you like a hurricane. <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead for number seven. Elisa Cardinal. Five thirty-eight. Uh, Ron Fornicator. Libertarian Party of New Hampshire. 
and then CNN. All right, one minute on the clock. Poll begins right now. Stop the count. Oh man, Libertarian Party of New Hampshire had it at 69%. Dan sends a tweet. We can get back to normal. Let me inform you. Let's all get the vaccine. It's about community immunity. I'm talking unity for you and me. If Doc says it's good, then trust me, it's good. Now let's all get the vaccine. There is none higher. DMC, I will inspire. Time for us to trust and not debate. The vaccine, believe it's safe to take. Nine out of ten people won't get sick. That's ninety percent effective and legit. This COVID thing is real and it will find you. It's killing our people. Let me remind you. Back in the days, back in the days, there was polio, smallpox. Back in the days, measles and mumps, man. Back in the days, but because of the vaccines, none of those days. Vaccines they work to trigger immunity. Two shots, we got antibody security. We gotta act now. No need to wait. Get your vaccine before it's too late. For real. Okay. Oh, it's still got this through on a repeating basis. <laughs> oh, Ron, what'd you send? Please tell me it is what I hope it is. Libertarians. Oh, look at you getting a little little uh another right. I'll give you that I'll give you that retweet on it. Libertarians, why don't we win elections? Also libertarians legalize child labor. And then of course I love this. Uh, let's go ahead and give him some of that as well. And then I'll retweet you, Dan. Give me a moment while I pull this up. Um, sorry, guys. Give me one moment. It's going through all my downloads here. Boom. Right there. Beautiful. Tweet it out. Mm. And retweet that shit. Let's go. Um, okay, let's keep it going. So Libertarian Party gets it. Libertarian Party New Hampshire gets it at number seven. Wow. Oh, man. Um... Congratulations to, to Ben, of all people, who got the projection right at number seven. Congratulations. Um, so far, he's fucked up every single other one, but that's okay, because you know he can't always, he can't always win. Sex acts and, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Um, let's see here. Next uh, poll we got, we got number eight. I'm going to keep it at five candidates. So you guys got to have a really, you have a tough choice. At least a card now. Five, 38. Ron, Fornicator. We got CNN. And then Nico Lull for her $2 million apartment tour. One minute on the clock, poll begins right now. Channel points and bits are active.
Elisa Cardinal currently in the lead with 63% of the vote. 67% of the vote. Make sure it's nice. Now she's got 70% of the vote. Oh my God. Elisa Cardinal gets it with 70% of the vote at number eight. Do I care if Nico, uh, Eli Stein contributes 71 bits, Smudge Rocks, 621 channel points. Daniel, I really do not care if Nico Law blocks me. I have never interacted with her before. Um, so we shall see. If you really want to see her on, uh, if she gets on the list and I put her on there, we'll see if she blocks me. All right. Um, number nine here. We got 538. We got Ron Fornicator. We got CNN. And then Nico Lull. Pull begins right now. One minute. Wow, is Just Jen simping for Nico Lull? Rom says, in my opinion, she looked cute in the initial OK Boomer vid she put out, which made her popular. Sue me. Oh, 538 gets 69 votes. Hey, may not get 73% of the votes, but it got 69 votes. That's nice. Drop some 69s in the chat, Habibis. Congratulations, 538. All right, 538 gets it at number nine, which means we have three slots left. I'm sorry, one slot left for three candidates, okay? All right, number 10. We got Ron Fournier. CNN, and Nico Lull. One minute on the clock, poll begins right now. currently in the lead Rex Chapman blocked me so I'm gonna go have to uh, go to another account and see what he he tweeted out No way this is real. Congratulations to Ron Fournier for getting the number 10th spot with this tweet. 
No. Sorry, CNN. Sorry, Nico Lull. Guess you'll make the list another day, but this is what. Um... Guys, I'm out. So I'm out sunbathing in the garden yesterday, and I forgot to take my face mask off. I'm really not happy, guys. How am I meant to go to work like this? Just wear a fucking so I'm mask. I'm sunbathing in the garden. Jesus, people. All right, what other what other links were sent in? D Rose, thank you for so much for subbing for six months. Says, when are you going to get back in the beat laboratory? Inshallah, I was hoping to do it this uh, actually today, and then the blue checks wouldn't stop uh, tweeting, and so um, I had to do that shit. Um, I had to do a bunch of list stuff. Here is another tweet from Povo. Uh, responding to breaking 9-11. I'm sorry, breaking 9-1-1. Whew. Breaking 9-11. That was, uh, was a close one, guys. Uh, it says, breaking SCOTUS rejects challenge to all male military draft. Povo responds, says, now that you mention it, I feel as though women, uh, women were underrepresented in the D-Day invasion. And then Daniel Collins, choose your fighter. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's Michael Bloomberg. Oh, my God. Just look at that. A Kamala cookie. Talk about vanity. Just so bad. Um, okay. Habibis. This is what we're going to do. I am going to hop off the stream here and get all my stuff set up um, for uh, for doing playing some COD. Cod Cold War, but here's your top 10. We got Ramsey Paul, Stance Grounded, New York Post, President Biden, AOC, Vox, Libertarian Party of New Hampshire, Elisa Cardinal, 538, and Ron Fournier. So, um, I'm going to, <laughs> charge did not let me confirm. I'm going to go hop off here, um, and then I'm going to set up my stuff, and then I'll hop right back on, and we'll uh, we'll play some play some video games. So, Habibis, thank you all so much for joining me on the list stream tonight. Um, as always, check out uh, Habibi Power Hour this week at Wednesday, 9 p.m. I'm sorry, 10 p.m. Uh, East, 7 p.m. Pacific. Jay and I are going to be absolutely lit this week. Very excited. It's Habibi week, 69th episode. Um, it's going to be a very nice episode. Very excited for all of you uh, to tune into that. And then, um, yeah, the list will go out probably tomorrow. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a few short moments. And I love you all. For those of you who aren't joining joining us for the gaming stream, have a good night. Um, and we will, I'll see you guys uh, later on this week. Masalama, Peace.